Hey everybody, welcome back to Vlogmas. Michael and I cross-stitched these cute little gnomes as gifts to send out with our Christmas cards and we wanted to take you along for that process in this vlog. Looking for patterns? Looking for Christmas gnome cross-stitch patterns today. This is like a first for me, so seeing how they computer generate what it should look like versus what it actually looks like sometimes is um, Julie's having to help me say that's not what it's going to look like. Oh, that one's cute. It is cute. Wow, my laptop is dirty. We're going to have to clean that right now. <laughs> I am not good with font, so that might not yeah, be a good that. one for us That's to choose. Are these single stitches here? I don't know. We're on Etsy, by the way. Uh, it is October the 12th, I believe. 13th. Friday. 13th. Oh, it Friday. is Friday, Friday the 13th. The 13th. <laughs> and I am in full blown ready for Christmas mode. I'm so over spooky season. Uh, so I, over Halloween. I can't even get into spooky <laughs> season. <laughs> and I'm ready to start my Christmas crafts. So we are looking up something I can cross stitch to send out with our Christmas cards. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah. I told Michael if he will help me stitch them, he can pick them out. So, so we're looking. We are looking for some Christmassy gnomes. A lot of people in my family like gnomes, so this is mother. And uh, we'll be sending these out with our Christmas cards. Yeah. So, oh, I like. <laughs> I this like, one. I like the. Oops. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The patriotic motorcycle one. That one. That one has my uncle all over it. Oh, it does. Yeah. Even the beard. <laughs> I think we have a photo of him taking a. It looks, looking a lot like that. Yeah. Huh? I think this might be what we're gonna settle on. Um, initially, Michael found these and said they were his favorite. Um, and I thought they don't look very Christmassy to me. But the more I look at them, the more they just look like timeless, like father, father time kind of mm -hmm. Christmas. Mm -hmm. I do wish there was more green, and I'm wondering if they would look good if we found some green fabric, but then Even all that Even if we change their shirts, right? Their, their clothes to, to a green? This is the only are one the, Are their clothes green. a solid color? Let's, I don't. I'm not sure about that yet. So they're called Norwegian gnomes. We got a dog over here scratching. <laughs> Sorry it, about that. <laughs> it does appear that they're like it, that. It's one color here for the body. At I least. am kind of really liking these. They're very cute, oh, and I like them on the gray fabric. So we're gonna have to. I love I, what I love the most. I think is the hat pattern because that mm -hmm. it's totally. But yeah, the gray. If we can find a gray, I think that would be really. That would be really very neat. fun. I would really like to and make these. They're saying between 12 and 18 colors. Not bad. Yeah, so there's a sample, and here's the colors. Okay. And All we right. said what? Four by five, I think, is what they're going to come out to be. So Jules is saying a six inch hoop to put this in. It was five point something inches okay. in height. So, yeah, okay. we're this is probably going to be the winner. Let's stick that in. I apart. like it a lot. I like it too. Yeah, and then apparently there's a finished one. All right, we are off to Hobby Lobby in Vieira. It's about a 30 minute drive, but we have other reasons we have to head that way anyway. Uh, so we are only missing two thread colors of DMC. I'm amazed. I know, I have all the other colors. We double checked, there's only like 12 colors or so in this pattern, but yeah. I had um, all but two of them and we also need fabric and hoops. So off we go, we are gonna have to go shopping for some supplies. Guess who's back? Yeah, it's called Christmas Red. Red. That's beautiful. 3801, and what was the other one? 37? I don't remember. Check the text. Okay. <laughs> Is that what you said? 3782. snow globe <laughs> we're gonna have to get it huh well this oh, has a fan beautiful. in it so it actually keeps wow. the snow going that is so pretty oh there are no 18s except for white what unless we find swatches down here Thank you. 
made it. Yay! Awesome. Of all the things, we decided to watch One Tree Hill because neither one of us had seen it before. <laughs> I'm slow. That's okay. Meanwhile, I have done this. It was about this point when I realized the dimensions of the pattern are actually wrong and this pattern is not going to fit in our six inch hoops. Slower than you are. What? I said I'm a lot slower than you are. Oh, but it's but cute though. Yep. Over here's mine. Here's mine. I'm only faster because I've been cross stitching basically whole my whole life. life. Yeah. Um, it is coming along looking very cute. I'm gonna have to take this one out of the hoop and probably put it in a frame if I can find a glass frame on Amazon, but that's fine. I'll know better for next time. And I think it's very cute. Working slowly. Yay! I'm a little bit faster than he is, but only because I've been doing this pretty much my whole life. And, uh, careful. It took me about four evenings of stitching and a couple movies to get my first gnome done. This one is gonna go to my grandma. So I started my second gnome on this evening and it is a gnome that has a whole bunch of boxes of Christmas presents. And I'm really excited about this one because there's a lot of colors in it. Meanwhile, Michael had made a lot of progress on his. Abra makes it hard to stitch sometimes. She sees us chilling on the couch and she just wants to climb up in our laps and cuddle. I really like all the different colors and shapes of presents. Oh, I'm cute. Are you enjoying making it? Yeah. You having fun? It, I do. I have fun. It's um, relaxing. <laughs> Just like masking, Until huh? Until you stick yourself. <laughs> you still got your podcast in? What you listening to? Yeah. Uh, podcast on Napoleon. Oh, very cool. Uh, preparing for the movie. Getting ready? Yeah. <laughs> Aberdoodle. Aberdoodle. So here's my second gnome completely done. I think I'll be sending this one to my Aunt Kenna. This was definitely my favorite one that I made. And here's me starting the third and final one I'm going to make. It has a cute baby moose on it. Sometimes Abra doesn't understand why I won't let her chew on the wooden hoop, and it's so cute. Update. Woo! How much have we got left? It looks almost done. It's, I'm having to fill in the white, so it's really, really like um, screwing with my mind on a white background. The hat's almost finished. When the hat's finished, I'm going to have to move this up so that I can get my feet in here. This is a, this one was a little bit bigger than our ring. Um, so yeah, I have these few rows. Otherwise, it's all just white from here all the way down to here that I gotta fill in. White is demoralizing because you it can't really see it so, when you're stitching it, a white. It, it makes you think you're not making any progress at all. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, it's been fun. I don't think we told the video about our updated plans, what to do with these when we finish them. Oh, right, because they're so much larger than what we thought. We think um, the lady we bought them off of might have made a little bit of a mistake on what kind of um, hoop they should go through. We are thinking about taking these out when they're finished, cutting around it, and sewing them onto a tea towel. Get yeah, like a decorative, that's the plan. Maybe a green tea towel to make it all blend in, yeah. and give them as towels. Sounds good. Yeah. This is where I am with mine. I'm just stitching uh, off-white color on this fabric. But yeah, uh, the pattern said that they would be about five and a half inches tall and five and a half inches wide. So we thought a six inch hoop would work, but I've stitched my two now in, in uh, I had to use seven inch hoops because they went off the edge on all four sides. So those dimensions are definitely wrong. I'm thinking she probably converted it from centimeters and it just wasn't accurate. So uh, the seven inch hoops, I don't like the way they look fitted into an envelope to mail them in a seven inch hoop. So we're probably gonna go with a tea towel route and I'm excited about that because I've never made a tea towel. Yeah, that's different, I like it. This deer is looking mighty cute. Almost done. 
almost done. You see where I had it on the hoop, so I've got this much, I had to take it off the hoop and I've got this much left to go. Mm, looking really cute. Yeah, I've enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. And this is what mine looks like. All I've got to do the, is the white beard left. Yeah, I love the reindeer on you. I know, he's so cute. Oh, and i got to do the little details on his eyes. Whew, okay, we're down to kind of the wire. <laughs> we have been stitching pretty much all day for two solid days. I but can't see. We have finally finished. <laughs> Uh, this is my third, and Michael just finished his first, and that's all we need. Um, he cut his hoop down a little bit close, so our plan now is, since we're not going to give this in a hoop, we're actually going to sew them onto tea towels. That was Michael's idea, and I love it, so we're going to do that with most of mine, too. So we bought some green tea towels. This is what they look like. <laughs> These are the tea towels we bought off Amazon. I think that'll look just fine. Yeah, we'll cut out around it and do a stitch. Yeah, a little whip stitch, stitch it on there. This is the biggest project you've ever made. You're not kidding. Yeah. All this detail and diagram up here. Yeah. That was. That's beautiful a though. Lot that poinsettia look. Yeah, no, it's gorgeous. <laughs> it's just goodness. Very, very cute. We're gonna do this tomorrow. We are. Uh, our eyes are about bleary and crossed. <laughs> so we're. Gonna, <laughs> we're gonna finish them too. tomorrow. Here they are, all four of them, aren't they cute? I cannot wait to put these in with our Christmas cards. I think they will be a big hit. Okay, gnomes have been completed. <laughs> this did not just take us a month and a half <laughs> to stitch four of these. One of them is going to stay in the hoop because I had one hoop that fit the proper size. Um, a six inch hoop and I was able to get it in. But the rest of these, even though the pattern said they were supposed to be under six inches all the way around, actually are larger than six a inches. Larger, yeah. So our backup plan, since we didn't have enough hoops, is to sew them onto some tea towels. We've got, we bought a pack of three tea towels. We just had to steam them because they came out super, super wrinkly. But the plan is to put the gnome in the corner of a tea towel. It'll look something, something like this. We're gonna be completely winging this. I have never done this before. <laughs> All right, my first plan here is to cut the gnome out and leave myself plenty of room all the way around it to put fray check on and then stitch it onto the towel. Okay, roughly like that, it wasn't too bad. And then I'm just gonna to try to round it off and make, kind of follow the contours a little bit better. I gotta get my left-handed scissors. <laughs> yeah. While those are drying, I'll show you this one. I, I was able to fit this one gnome pattern in a six inch hoop. I'm not really sure why, because these other gnomes look like they're almost identical. I mean, the hats are the same. The feet look like they're about the same. They look like they should fit, but this, this one fit just barely in a six inch hoop. And the rest of them were larger than six inches. And like with Michael's, for example, he had to take his out of the hoop to finish it because he was using a six inch hoop. So. This one is gonna stay. I'm sending this one to my Aunt Cindy because she really likes forest animals and forest critters. So she's gonna get it just like this in the hoop. The only thing I still need to get, we are out of super glue just to protect the edges. Um, I've got fray check on them, but I don't have anything to make sure the hoop doesn't come unsnapped. So I'm gonna get that tonight, run a little layer of super glue all the way around the edge of this, and this one will be done for Aunt Cindy. I don't actually have real needles either. All I have is cross stitch needles. So I picked the smallest one that I have and I picked a red thread that was in this pattern. I don't have pins as well. <laughs> so we're gonna have to very carefully whip stitch this on here and constantly assess what I'm doing and making sure that it's, uh, it's not getting bowed or buckled. Whip that and then thread it. I think I like the placement in the bottom left-hand corner because I'm envisioning that this will be hung over like the bar on a refrigerator or on a stove. So this one, the first one I'm gonna do, we are gonna put it right here on the bottom. Thank goodness this towel is forgiven and my cross stitch needle is gonna come through the towel, no problem. All right, here we go, wish me luck. All right, this is what we're looking like after one pass of a whip stitch all the way around both gnomes. 
And I think I'm going to go back now with a different color and just add some cross stitches just to kind of brighten it up a little bit. And this is what it looks like with two passes of whip stitching and putting little cross stitch crosses on it. I think I'm happy with this and I'm going to stop here and uh, see if Michael needs me to jump in and help him out. You got anything you want to say? <laughs> you don't even want to talk to me right now. This has been absolute torture. I decided that instead of a whip stitch, I was going to cross stitch all the way around. It looks beautiful though. You no, know, it's taken you, I mean, I don't even know how long it's taken me. I'm not even halfway done. Well, yours looks better. You make me mm -hmm. want to put a third pass on to make mine pop a little more. Okay, everybody, that's going to finish out this video. I hope you enjoyed making these gnomes with me and with Michael. We, we really enjoyed making them. We sure did. We had a lot of fun, and I hope our family really likes to receive them as Christmas gifts with their Christmas cards. We look forward to the next one. Yep. We'll see you guys tomorrow in another Vlogmas. Have a very Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.